everyone and welcome back. Today I'm finally sharing part two of my cottage core, grandma core dining room makeover. I'm so excited to finally be wrapping this up. This room has been a work in progress now for months. Um, I just took my time finding the furniture pieces I was looking for. I was very specific in what I wanted and so it took me some time to find them but I finally did and now I'm able to pull this room together. If you'd like to catch up on part one, I will leave it in the description box below. I also wanted to thrift as much as possible for this room and that can take some time to find everything that you're looking for when you're thrifting. I did buy some stuff new, so there's a mix of new, thrifted, and stuff that I already had, but I love how this room turned out and I cannot wait to show you guys the final product. I'm getting started with hanging some curtains. I have found that anytime I'm making over a room or redecorating, anything like that, I always start with what I know I wanna do first. If I do what I know, then the rest tends to just fall into place. So my biggest tip that I can give you guys when you are working on a space is to start with putting what you love, where you love it first, and everything else will follow. So that's the process I will be following for this room, I'm gonna start with what I know I wanna do first and putting things where I know I want them to go. So these curtains I found on Amazon. The rod I thrifted at Goodwill for only $4.99 and surprisingly, it had all the pieces to hang it with, the brackets, the screws, and it's actually a double rod, but I'm only gonna be using the one. Not super crazy about the rod itself, but honestly, who's paying that close attention? The curtains are more of the focal point and plus I can always spray paint the rod later if I choose to and I went back and forth if I was gonna be taking the blinds down but the curtains just weren't gonna work if I left the blinds up so I did go ahead and take those down and I'm really glad that I did because I love having the curtains open and just being able to see right outside plus when I got those blinds they were more of a temporary privacy fix until I could decide on some curtains for this room. So now that I have some curtains, I went ahead and took those down. But I love these curtains. They provide privacy, but they're also thin enough to where they're not blocking out too much light during the day. I always like curtains that are light and airy. your attention can i come close i don't know how to play this our hands touch once or twice feeling kind of hypnotized i'm looking at you and i feel the tension you know this could be like heaven i am right here doing my best to make you feel like i do and just for a second I'm trying to breathe, but the air feels just like water. You're making me weak now. What doesn't kill you makes you. Our hands touch once or twice. We should let them intertwine. I'm looking at you and I feel the tension. You know this could be like a really quick you guys before we get any further into the video I wanted to thank the pets table for sponsoring a portion of today's video my little Pomeranian turns 15 this year she just had some teeth pulled she's had a recent surgery as well so she needs a soft food and she requires a grain-free diet as well because of her skin issues y'all have heard me talk about that quite a bit it's been a struggle but having her on a grain-free diet it has been really helpful and thanks to the pets table I can have all of her needs met I was able to fill out a short quiz that's catered to her specific needs and it came right to my door so the pets table is brought to you by HelloFresh with healthy recipes developed with vets and made from wholesome ingredients that humans trust they don't use artificial flavors colors or fillers they offer both freshly made and gently air-dried options with five recipes to choose from you can also choose to go with a mixed plan which is what I have here
here. I'm so happy that I switched Palm over to the pets table because I know that her needs are being met and she's getting a complete and balanced diet. With her being older, I worry about her, so I feel better about her having a fresh diet that supports her from several angles, from her skin and coat to her gut health, her immunity and vision, while also promoting an active lifestyle. And I also love that there's an on-staff board certified vet nutritionist to ensure their products are held to the highest standards and quality. They offer a 100% money back guarantee on the two week trial box. So if you guys want to give it a try, they also gave me a code to share with you guys. It's Kelly's Corner. I'll have that link and code below for y'all to get started. Thanks so much to the Pets Table for sponsoring this portion of today's video. The next space I'm going to go ahead and work on is to the left of the sliding doors. I'm just moving my daughter's play kitchen out of the way so that I can get to the wall here. <laughs> but I thought a cutting board display would look really good here. So I went on Amazon and I found these little bookshelves. I see these a lot in nurseries or kids rooms to hold books, but I thought that would be perfect to display my cutting boards and they actually came in a set of three. So I'm just going to use two here on this wall and then the third one I can use in another area later on, but I'm using my tape trick for these shelves. So I'm just going to put some tape on the back. I'll poke some holes where the screws need to go and then I can transfer the tape to the wall. I really like doing this anytime I'm trying to hang something because I can really figure out where I want it to go before I start drilling holes in the wall. So I'm going to play with these tape strips for a minute and just figure out the width between the shelves. Also, I can visualize how high I want these to be on the wall. So I'll just play with those until I get them exactly where I want them. And then after we are done with the cut and board shelves, we're going to move on to one of the new to me furniture pieces that I got. one of the new to me pieces that I got. So this I actually got from a cousin. I was over at her house one day and she was like, hey, you want this? And I'm like, sure. So we got it in the back of my van and I brought it home. It does need a little bit of TLC because one of the doors came off when we were trying to get it into the house. But thankfully it just needs to be screwed back on. Nothing was actually broken. So I'll take care of that today and go ahead and get it cleaned up and ready for all of my decor pieces. If you know the formal name for this piece, let me know. It's got a little fold out desk and little slots for I guess mail or papers, but I think it looks really good here in my dining room. It's the perfect size. It's not overly bulky for the space. I feel like it's just right. And as of right now, I'm not gonna be painting it. I may change my mind in the future, but right now I kind of like the warmth from the wood. It's almost spot on with my fireplace actually. So I'm gonna be leaving it the way that it is for now and adding some light and airy pieces to the shelves to kind of balance things out here.
let's go ahead and get to styling these shelves. The little cutting board I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, these little, I guess you would call them suit bowls, are from the Goodwill. Most everything that I'm putting on these shelves are from the Goodwill or it's stuff that I already had. The pitcher I already had, um, one of the bowls I had. Um, the only things that I bought new were the little basket. You'll see like a little brown basket in a second. The cutting board was new. Those are from Hobby Lobby. And then one of the smaller white pieces that I used, it looks like a little gravy boat. That's from Hobby Lobby as well. But everything else I either had or I thrifted. But I wanted to do all white with little pops of brown so that it looks balanced out because the furniture itself is already pretty dark, I feel like. So that's why I did all white decor. I also pulled my rolling pin from the kitchen and sat that on one of the shelves. It really needed something on top so I pulled this greenery piece from my living room I'm getting ready to make some changes in there and I'm not gonna be needing this in my living room anymore so I'm moving that in here but that's also from Goodwill and it needed just a little bit of height so I pulled this riser from the kitchen and I'll use that there and then next to the greenery I'm gonna put some other pieces that I found at Goodwill and um, I'll just put a wooden tray behind those pieces because they are white and the wall is white. They needed a little something in the background to kind of make them pop. The tray is from Hobby Lobby, but tell me what you guys think. I tried to be minimal with the decor. I didn't want to overcrowd the shelves and make it look cluttered, um, but so far I'm really loving it. to the mantle. So in part one, I had painted this to look like wood. It was a solid white fireplace. And because my walls are also white, I felt like it was just too much white. So I painted that to make it stand out from the wall. If you wanna see my process on that, be sure to watch part one. But I've had the worst trouble figuring out what to do here on this mantle because it's a dining room mantle. And most mantles that you see, especially on Pinterest, those are decorated for a living room. So I've just kind of felt stuck with this. I'm also getting ready to decorate for fall. That will actually be my next video. It's going to be going up Wednesday. So I'm going to do minimal decor, keep it a very clean slate for my fall decor so i found a picture from hobby lobby that i actually love a lot for my dining room and so i'll go ahead and hang that above the mantle and um, put my candlesticks out and then when i decorate for fall i'll worry about the rest i actually have a really cute garland for the mantle it goes perfectly with my dining room If you remember in part one, I had ran out of wallpaper for this wall. So I ordered more and I actually saved it to do on camera with y'all. 
just so you could get the satisfaction of watching it be completed since I kind of had to leave y'all hanging um, with that in part one. So I will link this wallpaper down below, but I guess you could call this my accent wall in the dining room. The top half is the peel and stick that I'm doing now. And then on the bottom half of the wall is beadboard wallpaper. That one is the kind that you have to wet, but I painted the bottom half in Evergreen Fog by Sherwin-Williams. Again, if you want to see step-by-step, step, it's all in part one, but I really love this wallpaper for this room. I want this room to be a calm space for us to unwind each night while we have our dinner together. But this wall is where my buffet cabinet will be going. I was able to find a really nice one on Facebook Marketplace. This was probably the hardest piece for the dining room to find because in thrift stores, it was priced way over my budget. We're talking about hundreds of dollars and I just didn't want to put that into it. However, one day I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace. I was actually almost to the point of giving up finding one. I just got on Facebook Marketplace just to randomly check and it was the first one that popped up. And so I immediately sent a message to the seller. They messaged me right back. It was a couple that buys and resells furniture, but they had just gotten it the day before. They had got it from, I think, an estate sale is what she said, um, but she had gotten so many messages about it, and I just happened to be the first one, so I feel really lucky. I went and picked it up the same day. It's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a nice, bulky piece to kind of fill out this wall, and I'm thinking maybe later I may add some armchairs or something on either side, maybe some sconce lights. But I love all of the drawer and cabinet space. I think this will be a really good place to keep board games and puzzles. It's even got what looks like silverware drawers. I got half off from Hobby Lobby and it was the last one that week so definitely got lucky there too. It is a really heavy mirror so I'm just going to prop it up instead of hang it. Um, I have this dough bowl that I'm going to set in front of the mirror and like the mantle I'm keeping this very minimal because I am getting ready to decorate for fall but I think some pumpkins or some pine cones would look super cute there. I'm going to set the lamp that I found at the Goodwill off to one side and I think that's got to be my favorite thing about this room. I love to come in here in the evenings and turn this lamp on when I'm putting the house to bed, turning the lights down because it creates such a warm, cozy ambiance that I love. Parts of you. This yellow jug I found at the Goodwill. I'm just going to set that here next to the mirror. I may put some fall florals in that when I decorate, but for now, I'm just going to leave it like so. Last thing I'm going to do is switch out my dining chairs. The white ones are just a little too farmhouse. They are freezing cold to sit down on as well. So I'm going to be giving the old ones to my sister. She can use them and I'm going to be replacing them with a spindle style of chair. I am going to have to put these together and that's always one of the pros of thrift and stuff if you can. It's already put together for you, but I actually just, I could not find a decent deal on chairs in the thrift stores. So I actually found these on Amazon for a pretty good price I felt like and they were pretty simple to put together, but I do need your votes down below. Should I paint these chairs or should I leave them how they are? 
if I should paint, what color do you think would look good? I thought about painting them because I wasn't sure how well the oak color would mesh with the other tones that I have in this room, but I really wanted to see them in the dining room first with everything put together before I made that decision. So tell me down below what I should do. Should I paint? Should I leave them the way they are? Let me know down below. The perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your way. Somebody near is open for tonight. It's not picked up this green runner from Hobby Lobby from the fall decor section. I'm going to go ahead and put that down, give the floor a quick vacuum, and I'll show you the completed after clips. wish I had gotten before clips and I don't think I did but this was my least favorite room in the house I think I've mentioned that a couple of times to you guys it's very cold very bright and just sterile feeling but I also knew that it wasn't gonna be that way forever it takes time to pull a space together but now it just feels very warm and inviting and I stuck that olive tree by the sliding glass doors but honestly I don't know if it's gonna stay there I just sat it there to see what I thought and I'm still undecided so leave your votes on that down below as well should the olive tree stay I do want to hang something on that wall where the olive trees at I just haven't decided I thought maybe a clock or a cute peg shelf but that's something that I'll do later on once I decide but other than that this room is complete and I love it I appreciate you guys watching today I hope this video inspired you in some way don't forget to leave a butterfly down below and I'll see you in the next one